Welcome to Old Guy Tech. The OGT.TV recording studio. Technology for the rest of us. The rest of us. The rest of us. The rest of us. Hi, and welcome to Old Guy Tech TV. This is Rob Charney along with James Stevens and Hello. Jonathan Charney. Hello. And this is our Friday Roundup. And yeah, just Friday. I'm going to make sure. I caught myself from another. <laughs> this is our Friday Roundup of all things, and, and uh, we do do more than just tech. And in this case, we tag on our Friday shows, we like to tag some things that are uh, unique, different, who knows. Other random. Than just, yeah, random. <laughs> other than just plain old tech stuff. So... That's what we're doing today. I know that uh, James has uh, uh, a story about a teacher who uh, slept up, slept with a, <laughs> with a bunch of a bunch of uh, her kids, her, te her her students. So once again, we have a. So it wasn't incest. We're, I just you know I never saw a teacher like that when I was in high school. I didn't so have I a teacher like that understand. either. Yeah. I didn't have any teachers cute enough to want that. I always wondered why they always have when you're watching TV or movies they always have some hot kindergarten teacher or something like that. I'm like, where was my hot kindergarten teacher? I yeah. have a lady that I throw a desk at. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's just I did no. <laughs> or it's just like my math teacher in seventh grade. You know, she was she had to be at least eighty something. Yeah. Her first schooling was like Little House on the Prairie. Well, I never had hot teachers at all. Yeah, I, I had hot I mean, substitute teachers. I, I will admit, I I remember having a junior high school uh, math teacher. It was just sizzling hot i mean even in what was that fifth grade even then it was like holy toledo well, i never had any teacher that i was like you know but for most of your life it was your mom that doesn't really count <laughs> oh, that was only home, half of my school homeschooling mm -hmm. yes, yeah. three years in public and then three years in uh, uh, or six years in homeschool and then three years in public again but i never saw any teacher that i was ever like you know I'm gonna flirt with her. That never even <laughs> crossed my mind in high school. See, there were I mean, there were some substitutes in high school that were really cute, but you know, they were that was like you know one time. Well, yeah. do we want to start with my story? No, well, let's, let's hang okay. on. Yeah, we'll get your story. Okay. And Jonathan's actually given me a couple. He's going to talk about. Um, oh, more than one. The giant <gasps> Lego. The giant Lego. Really man. trying to get it by the goat, huh? Yeah, he's, <laughs> don't make me hurt you. <laughs> I'll kick you down a flight of stairs. And uh, I'll roll down. <laughs> Anyway, go on. <laughs> Come on, stand he, up. I'll fight you. <laughs> he's talking about the, uh, the the giant Lego man that washed up on a Florida beach, and also about a car that received a uh, forty-four thousand five hundred dollar ticket for eighteen years of illegal par no, 1800, no, no, yeah. 1800 years of illegal parking. Here's your stories, John. And I guess we can start with mine. I, I, I doubt seriously that... Well, uh, say we start with James, since we already kind of alluded to it. We'll get back to James. We're going to start with mine. Get mine over with. Yeah, we'll over pass the buck. You know, what the heck. So, uh, Or the cigar. You, I, don't, I don't suppose either of you guys watch Dancing with the Stars, do you? Yeah, I can see that reaction. Was this about no. the, 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 the Bono thing? The Bono thing? Wait, somebody had a Bono? Oh, no. Oh, there goes my... I, I gotta learn to turn my cell phone off, don't I? <laughs> don't listen to that. Hold, hold on. Wow, that mic really picks that up. Verizon Wireless. Sorry. And Verizon, you, can tell, you can tell it's a live show. If you'd like to sponsor us, please... Yeah. Yes, and Verizon. This is yeah. the second time Verizon has gotten a... So please wait till the end of the credits. There's a phone number and email address. <laughs> join, join Verizon. And you can okay. write all checks to me for cash. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, uh, my story, that. my story. We'll get to my story. Uh, Dancing with the Stars. He's so selfish. here All is here here. This shows you how our, how crazy our country can be. There's a lady who does a show on CNN called Nancy Grace. Okay. You've probably all seen her. She's uh, um, was doing Dancing with the Stars, and she had a wardrobe malfunction, and and um. So uh, her right nipple uh, made a, a slight appearance on the show. Okay. Um, but we see guys without t-shirts all the time. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the Nancy the Grace interesting is not thing that is, uh, I don't know. the episode prompted about a dozen viewers to write the Federal Communication Commission to beef about the primetime wardrobe malfunction. The indecency complaints, a section of which you'll find online if you really want to find it. Um, no. Yeah, it was like, you know, the, this brief exposure prompted some Americans to contact the FCC to express their outrage. Okay, my question is, 
Are yeah. these people trying to make me think that they've never seen a boob before? I, I, I don't or a know. nipple? I don't See, know. my main... The, I, oh, saw, I saw the picture, and you had a really strain to tell that it was actually... A nipple. A nipple. I mean, it looked just... Well, see, my problem with these, these are probably the same people that love, you know, all the, the gore and, and other stuff you see on CSI and all the other language, you, you know, but they see some sort of, you know, part of a chesticle, they freak out. Well, I mean, I understand them getting upset about Janet Jackson at the Super Bowl. I understand that. I don't think that was an accident. That wasn't an accident. But the, well, the point I'm getting to is this was an accident. Absolutely. And it's like if you're watching a news station live, I'm assuming this was live. That's yep. how people actually saw it. Yep, yep. So this was live. There's going to be an accident. It's like uh, there was a people well, news reporters that have accidentally cussed uh, and on TV. Well, the, if, you, if you were to watch the show, the costumes are just barely there. And particularly for the professional female dancers or the the very hot female uh, celebrities, there's barely a costume there, and that's just part of ballroom dancing. That's my understanding. Yeah, but I'm, I'm pretty and, sure uh, they're using some sort of double-sided sticky tape. Well, and it probably. I just have a feeling that Nancy they, Grace. Nancy Grace is a woman of, of heavier carriage. They, I, I, I don't is. think that they probably used the double sticky tape from Walmart, and that may have been the problem. It's made in China. <laughs> Just get some gorilla tape or yeah, yeah. <laughs> gorilla glue them in there, man. Yeah. Well, three M tape. I just have a feeling it wasn't it, what whatever they used wasn't up enough to her her carriage. But, yeah, no, no. But for an accident, I don't think we need to do any of this. There's a lot more things that we need to be outraged about than just a nipple slip. Uh, I, I you know, know? It, it, totally, it, absolutely. It's, uh, just, it's it, it me. It, and I'm assuming that these are probably you know right wing uh, conservatives that are. You know, stickers with sticks up there. A line from one one of the the people, I guess, that complained to FCC. The, I love this line. Um, she supposedly another dancing fan stated, "I want action. I'm so offended to see her boob. My kids are traumatized." Hmm. Uh, Maybe I she guess she never breastfed. Yeah, my thought. <laughs> I thought that same thing. That's exactly what I said. Well, I mean, uh, if I you had wrong. to strain to see the pictures as an adult, I guarantee the kids have no idea what they were looking at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's just ridiculous. And it was probably it, just a second, just. Oh, yeah. Maybe just one second, maybe less than that, of yeah. a, probably something where the camera was on it and then the camera got off. You know, I was going to bring a picture up. I I have it, but I, the hell with it. It's not worth it. Because I'll tell you, it, it's a half moon. That's all you're seeing, really. Uh, and, and and it's just not worth it. But, but it just blows my mind how offended people get. I'm assuming they have never been to Europe and watched European television. Oh, yeah, no. Not and, at all. And, and, and news flash to all the people on there, out there. I mean, if you uh, let your kids near the computer, I guarantee they're seeing worse. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, that's I'm, one of the things I've been watching recently. I was watching uh, some stuff about, you know, the what what the Internet has done to children's perceptions of their bodies and all the stuff that they're flooded with online. And that's actually one of the points they're bringing up is, all these kids are on the internet. They have smartphones. Right. Parents can't regulate all that. You're right. gone, your right. parents aren't in the room for a second. The kid can Smart. type in something and find thousands of free smart? porn sites in, yeah. a, in less than a second. Well, but, smart parents know what to do. They, yes. they, you know, it, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. You know, but there's a lot of non-techie people out there, and it's part of the reason we're doing our shows is there's a lot of non-techie people out there that don't have a clue how to check their children's computers they don't know how to look at the browser history they don't have any idea what they're doing let alone their smartphone you hand yeah. them a smartphone and it's like they don't know what to do okay yeah. all you luddites out there find your local geek and ask him or her well actually one of the things i was brought up to i was talking to my parents about this and uh one of the elders from our church i said this is that john and my generation is probably going to be the last generation that remembers the world without the internet. Right. Think yeah. about that. Right. Yeah, I remember going to the library and how much hating that. Now all these kids have access to it, you yeah. know, to the internet. Absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. So we're the last generation that even remembers, that may even remember how to use a DOS system. Yeah. Or Dewey Decimal System. Well, uh, yeah. There you and, go. That's and, it. And in that as well, you ask a young child now, whoever goes to the library, do you know what the Dewey Decimal System yeah. is? And and if they point to the far corner of the <laughs> of the library, they'll see all the little trays that we all had to use oh, yeah. to look it up. And they wouldn't have a clue. The, the cards. I mean, that was yeah. one of the other things that uh, the lady I was talking to, she said, well, 
I went to the library and they didn't even have the cards. Yeah. I mean, that's something you had, you had to use a computer. Right. So they probably don't even know what that is, the index cards, you know? No, they, they probably don't. So, and, and, you know, what, one of the interesting things uh, on, on the cards was it forced you to look through a, a number of different titles, subjects, names, and things like that. And sometimes you'd come across something just by the browsing of the Dewey Decimal System cards that are in there and go, hey, that looks interesting. Yeah. You don't have that option now yeah. because you're you going to go to the, the computer, you're going to type in exactly what you're looking for and all it's going to come <clears> up <throat> is that particular book. Exactly. So, so yeah, so we, we, you know. But anyway, so poor Nancy Grace, uh, she, yeah. she, you know, for, for shame on her, she showed her boob. <laughs> and uh, Yeah, I doubt those know. kids are ever going to be traumatized. Yeah, I think they'll yeah. see They've seen so, far worse. So, listen, folks, th this is between you and me. Get a life. It wasn't anything. The call and complain makes absolutely no sense. So, that's my dumb for, for the week. Yeah, so. you want to be offended by something, type in Paris Hilton and look at images. All right. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. Okay, so, we'll go back to the, the, the cryptic story that James had. Oh, okay. cryptic. Yeah. Well... The one that I'm finding interesting is that this is an Ohio gym teacher, and she's been convicted of sex crimes against kids in her school. And what this whole story is about is that she's had she had sex with five different students. These were some football players. So they're all male. All male, yes. Um, and the teens were about 17 years old when this happened. The uh, sexual consent uh, age in Ohio is 16. Wait, wait, repeat that? They were 17 at the time. And the consensual sex age for a for an adult or a young child in Ohio is 16. The age of consent. The age of consent. getting in trouble. Um, well, that's what I was trying to figure out. So the... <clears throat> excuse me. It is illegal in Ohio for a teacher to have sex with a student. That's where she's getting pinched on this. Is one. it of any age? Does it specify? It, it doesn't say at any age, but it just says. But it's illegal for a teacher to have sex with a student. I don't know. I'm assuming this might even apply to college. Colleges. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's bull. If it doesn't specify, because that yeah. th I know that one of the things that they were pointing out a while back is if a teacher has sex with a student, she's going to feel more obligated to give them a better grade, or <laughs> not <laughs> necessarily. Know? So that's kind of what they were worried about uh, when they passed that law. Um, now the thing about this is, is that she's got 16 counts of sexual battery. Wow. Three counts of providing alcohol to a minor, and uh, that because she got them drunk. And what these students were saying is that she was the one that initiated everything. She got them drunk, got herself drunk, and initiated sex with them. Okay. Now, <laughs> this goes back to what what part of this whole scenario says that the students were not willing to do this? Well, if they're underage, that's what you say. You know, that's what the lawyer is saying. She made me do it, officer. I swear. Yeah, well, I understand her, them charging her with um, the providing alcohol to to minors. I understand that one. That that's something that you shouldn't do. You shouldn't buy them cigarettes. You shouldn't buy them alcohol. So you're going back to you can't wait, rape the willing. Exactly. How did she actually sexually batter these students? These students, Was she five boys. I'm assuming she's attractive then. Actually, she she's uh, I don't know if they have any other pictures, but she's not the worst teacher because there these have been, there's been many cases of teachers having sex with students. How, how old were these kids again? Uh, they were seventeen years old. You know, it could have been she the first encounter. And, you know, you got a, a boy at seventeen years old is going to get excited at just about anything. Yeah. So, sure. uh, you know, biologically, physically, yeah. it's almost impossible for them in this situation at that age not to get aroused. Yeah, but I mean, there's a difference between getting aroused and leaving, or getting aroused and staying because you're aroused and you want to. Well, of course he's wants, he wants to have fun. So I mean, how is this sexual battery? Is my question. It doesn't really go into what they're saying is sexual battery. Um, if they're passed out and she, yeah, but, them, it just doesn't say anything about well, it's that. How, it's right. like how they caught right. Al Capone. They never they never charged him with any of the crimes. He got in trouble for tax evasion. So it's you know the same way. No, here's here's an interesting um, kind of. A father s 
spoke of his son's depression and lost motivation and said that his teen almost didn't go to college. Stupid kid. Okay. <laughs> this is the stuff that I'm like, where does it... Well, I mean, maybe, the, maybe the young man is gay. I mean... <laughs> so and, when he got and, drunk and slept up and slept with a yeah, woman? <laughs> and, and exactly. I, mean, I, I just There's the possibility for Or maybe it. he just need, wants a job with his name on his shirt. I mean, mechanic, <laughs> okay, you but, know? But, okay, let's do the math here for a second. Okay, there's five kids. Mm-hmm. Five. Sixteen counts. So each one of these students had more than one sexual encounter with her. And some mm-hmm. lucky guy had three times. Yeah. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? This, there's, there's I'm this. sorry. We're not supposed to laugh at this. And, and, and I know it's not funny because it is sexual battery. But, yes, I think I think the discussion could be made that um, at this stage like in it, life. If you don't like it, don't do it again. Well, and, and, and if the law does say. 16 years of age is consent, but the but the the law is falling into a teacher may not have uh, sexual conduct with a student if it's actually written that way. You'd really have to look at the law and see exactly what the verbiage is to, to really tell why these counts are brought yes. to them in that way. So you'd have to you'd have to do a little more investigating to find out. Well, um, from what I understood, this I didn't see it spoken of in that story, but I've I heard some stuff about this story before. Is that there was kind of like an orgy style stuff that was going on yeah so i can understand that as uh, misconduct and some you could throw in some type of sexual battery in there um but there was more than one encounter with each of these students from what i mean if you just do the simple math on this exactly so and like i said is if you don't like it don't do it again well my thought is, is this suit is probably being brought on by the parents, of course. The boys are probably not the ones complaining. And uh, yeah, I'm sure it's the parents. Uh. You know, And so the parents are the ones that are bringing the complaints. The district attorney's office has decided to uh, pursue this because yeah, they're the ones that are either going to go after the teacher or not. So, And I, I, bet, the, know, I bet he's only going after it because it's a good-looking move. Yeah, well, the, my point on, on this one is I'm not condoning anything she did. I'm not condoning that at all. I don't know the situation of each student's personal, you know, what what their uh, <clears throat> involvement of this was. But my only thing that I'm saying is, it takes two here. It's it's not just all on her, which right. they're portraying right. it as. Right. Well, she's the older. I mean, she's the adult. So she unfortunately, is she the gets adult. she gets hounded. Well, with she's it. the authority figure as well, and that also yeah. changes the issue. But I just, I mean, I, I mean, I know the way I was at 16. I, I highly doubt that if somebody said, come do this now, I mean, I, I you know. So I just, I, I, I think there's more willing participation. Everybody in this thing was culpable, as far yeah. as I'm concerned. They, yeah. they all, you know, it was it was a decision they all made. So, okay, so, so that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that I'm not, what I want to make a point of is that there is no single victim here. Oh, totally. They're totally. all in the wrong. And yes, they do need somebody to take the fall for it, I guess. And that's what the teacher is. But I just I just don't like the way that they portray this sometimes. That they Maybe. drag the woman through this. It was It's like the t- uh, teacher sleeping with a student in, uh, was it Florida, where it was the young kid, and they all got, they ended up getting married later. Right. Mm-hmm. And he stuck with her through the whole right, thing. Right, right, right. Well, no, there, 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 there is a, vic- a number of kids with him. There is yeah. a victim here. The taxpayers. Yes, exactly. Yeah. We're dragging this case out, and it's becoming a public case, and it's getting publicity all over the place, and we're paying for that. <laughs> yeah, we are. So with that note, Jonathan, you're up. All right. <clears throat> okay, the, the, the first one, or the one here I have is a, their car received a $44,500 ticket for 1,800 years of illegal parking. And this was in, this is in Italy. What it says is a slave. Italy. Huh? Well, Italy? Uh, yeah. man, that oxen cart could have been there for a long well, time. I, was I, guess. The, I don't know. <laughs> the lady said she wasn't feeling she wasn't feeling well, so she went to the the hospital. You know, came back and she saw the, you know the forty four thousand dollar ticket. The fine was backdated to two thousand eight, but the police officer missed one of the zeros, calculating the fine and interest back to two hundred eight A D. The actual fine was only one hundred and forty three dollars. 
Okay. Now, is this U.S. dollars that they've kind of... This, kind of this it, is, it's converted. Or is this euro? This is okay. a euro. Because it's 32,000 euros was the was the fine, and 102 euros. Wow. So, yeah. So, you know, that... that so, they don't mess around in Italy. Don't don't leave your ox and cart out there for uh, a lot of years. Don't have a lazy officer. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but, well, well, my thought, I mean, if it was really 108, I mean, it was a skeleton. I mean, so... Yeah, yeah, I was trying to figure out, is this like a grandfather ticket? <laughs> yeah. Do you get a ticket and does it get paid for it? It goes to your great, 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 grandkids? Well, they they are broke, you know, so maybe they're just trying to collect back fees. <laughs> yeah, all of Europe is gro- broke right now. Yeah, it's it's pretty tough. So, okay, you know so. what they're going to do now is they're going to go after Newton for shooting that apple. <laughs> Child abuse. Exactly. <laughs> Next. We're going to make this a short, short session today. Yeah, so. Moving on. Moving on. Okay, the next one was a, a giant Lego man washes up on Florida Beach. <coughs> it's an eight-foot-tall red, yellow, and green Lego man. It was discovered Tuesday on a... Uh, it doesn't a, look green. Sarasota something Key Beach. Um, it was basically funny because it's a 100-pound fiberglass figure that looks like a monopoly... It uh, looks like a Lego Let's man. Actually, let me take a look at this. Well, I just think it's funny because the first reaction you imagine actually what you know seeing that on the beach going, "What is that?" and you walk up to it going, <laughs> "It's a Lego man." Well, it's a big Lego man. I mean, did this come from Lego World or something? How did this happen? It, it says later on the story that I guess somebody let it go and it just made a really long journey. There's two pages to that story. Oh wow! Was it? it was, they, they were also found on the beaches in Holland and England. Well, so, so, in 2007, 2008. Probably a shipping container full of these from China broke loose. and Giant Lego man? Oh, yeah. It's 100 foot tall. This is something like that. It's got to be an advertising. It's the rightful be. owner of the Florida Lego man has 90 days to claim, his Sar- <laughs> to claim him from Sarasota police. <laughs> what happens if, they don't, if he doesn't claim it in 90 days? Uh, it Does goes, it go to police it auction? Become, yeah, it becomes public I, property. Oh, you know what yeah. the cop should do? The cop should totally paint it, put it in like an officer's cap, and put it outside one of their uh, their uh, their stations. I just want to know how this thing it must not have had any hole in it, because if it's out there... Well, it floated, yeah. It didn't sink. Well, it's fiberglass. Right. I, don't know, right. I don't know how good fiberglass floats, but well, if there's any hole in it, then, pretty, then pretty the good, water yeah. gets in there and yeah. will we'll weight it down, and it would sink to the bottom. I'm just... Right. Does it say where he let it go at? Um, let's see. It says... See, Ego Leonard is a Dutch artist whose website reads No Real Than You and features a photo of the Lego man on the homepage. So I'm assuming, you know, the dude's Dutch. Hmm. What well, does that have to do with throwing it in the ocean and letting it float? Well, I'm assuming he let it go there. So it's kind of like a message in a bottle, but in this case you toss out a Lego guy and see where he goes. It's an eight foot tall, a hundred pound Lego man. Okay, so maybe more, <laughs> more than one person gets up there and tosses it. I out. mean, but that's just cool. I mean, as, as a kid, this is this would be the ultimate Lego. Toy. Oh, wouldn't that be a score? Oh, you eight go, man! Look, hey, look, mom, look what I got. Of course, take all his friends to carry it home, but all this school. I mean, if it depended on how old, you know. That's pretty funny. I wonder if it has the toy swords to go along with it. Story. Oh, that would be awesome. <laughs> That's that giant, like, uh, like the axe. <laughs> no, I want the, like, you know, the Voltron sword, you know, the oh, blazing yeah. sword. Yeah. That's pretty funny. Hey, I know what it is. It's it's the next Lego cartoon. It's Power Rangers Lego Edition. It's a Zoid. Do they have a movie coming out? That'd be a great way of starting uh, some publicity for it. By littering? <laughs> Imagine the ticket for an eight foot tall, hundred pound Lego litter. <laughs> Jeez. I wonder if they do that. I mean, if they have a certain pound weightage where it goes from a thousand dollar fine for littering to like a forty four thousand dollar fine. <laughs> totally. That's what I do per tonnage. Maybe maybe this thing was actually in the back of the car in Italy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean the ox cart? The ox cart. Yeah. No wonder it was stuck there. The poor donkey died trying to pull it. Yeah, it's a hundred pounds. That's why it didn't go anywhere. Exactly. <laughs> there you go. So the, so the t- see the stories have a tie in. They actually do. So. Except for the fact it was made in fiberglass. Yeah, I would be more... That's what I was thinking, like, could this be a plastic Lego man? And how much would that weigh? And how does that float? And I was looking at the feet, trying to see if the feet had little holes in them. <laughs> Which, it didn't. Yeah. I, it must have been pretty 
pretty well sealed. My, is my I guess, wonder if so. you could actually sit down and make a whole like Lego town. Like, le- that's why I was thinking like it was from. Oh yeah, yeah. Lego World okay. or whatever. Oh yeah, these. It's incredible what they make with these Legos. Yeah. Oh, just... there was a talk about something random. <coughs> Legoland, I think it was in California, replaced one of their people's cars. Where they had, they had the they had the exact same car that this Lego thing was made out of. So the guys, so they stole the guy's car and put the Lego one in it. And the guy walked up trying to beep it and unlock. He's like, hey, it's, where's my car? It's, you know? <laughs> I wonder how much that would actually weigh. Uh, yeah, a lot. And and if this guy couldn't tell the difference between his Well, far away, Lego you can't car, tell. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, far away. They must all be doing a little nipping there at the Lego factory. Is well, it's the plastic outgassing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's it. It's from the fumes, of course. It's got to be. Yeah. So. Those shoes are going to be toxic. <laughs> <laughs> like the Britney Spears song? What? What? Who? What? Anyway. Hey, listen, guys. We're going to cut this one short. What? I want to thank uh, thank you for coming. Uh, next Friday, we will not have a show. Um, so it'll be two weeks before we have our next show. Okay. Um, but uh, uh, thanks for uh, being here. Uh, James and John thank you. and thank you for uh, coming and seeing Old Guy TV and we'll, we'll <laughs> see you next time. 